Are these Pokemon Crown Zenith tins worth it? Let's open them up and find out. Ladies and gentlemen, we paid $25 each for these Crown Zenith uh, Galarian Bird tins. Each tin comes with one of the Galarian uh, Bird promo cards and it comes with five Crown Zenith packs. Let's open them up and see what pulls we get. So the first thing we'll be opening up is these Galarian Zapdos. So let's go ahead and get into it. So it's really cool that they came with these like alt art promo cards. Honestly, if they would have just came, uh, come with like a V promo card, it wouldn't be as cool. But because they do come with that uh, like alt art Galarian uh, gallery type card, it's honestly pretty cool to just have in someone's collection. So there you guys go, guys. You guys can get that code card right there for the Galarian Zapdos in the TCGO. And oh my god, it's honestly really, really cool. I actually like the kind of like blur effect that they added on. Overall, pretty good promo card. So I mean, the best part about this is you do get that nice little promo card right there. And you get five packs. So they did have another tin, guys, that came with four packs. However, we did pick up the one that came with five packs. So hopefully we get some really good pulls today. All right, so going into our first pack, let's go ahead and open it up. Um, this is the second time I'm opening up Crown Zenith. The first time was with the ETVs when we opened up the pack. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four to the front. Let's see what we get. Uh, grass energy, very nice. All right, trekking shoes, dust clops, crushing hammer, cypher, pokeball, young goose, cherubi, execute, reverse bea, and I like how they have the autographs on these Crown Zenith cards going into a Luxray, all right? Nothing there, it's all good. So, so here you go, guys, code card right there, Crown Zenith. All right, one, two, three, four. I'm really hoping to get one of the gold cards or the secret rare uh, Pikachu card. I think that would be really cool to pull. All right, Electric Energy. So we got Crushing Hammer, Shaman, Digging Duel, Salandit, Purloin, Grubbin, Skrulp, Helio Helioptile. Ooh, there we go. Our first Galarian Gallery card. And it's a Dust Call. Very, very nice. Going into a Tangrowth. All right, so there we go, guys. We already got our, our Galarian Gallery pool. It is not one of the nice full art textured ones, but it's still a pretty cool one right there. So we'll put it right next to the Galarian Zapdos. And Meowth is taking good care of our Pokemon back there. We do have the Great Ball from the last video. So. Again, we have a few Easter eggs. Kyogre is there on the side. We're going to probably go ahead and bring them towards the front. But there you go. There's your code card. One, two, three, four. And I know, guys, Scarlet and Violet uh, ETBs and booster boxes have come out. But I do have to go to my local shop and pick that up. I, I have done this video. It took me forever to finally open these up. So I'm sorry about that. But, yep. Let's keep going. Friends of Sinnoh. Laron. Seal. Rockruff. Aeron. Ryolu. Starly, ooh, Reverse Tangela, and a Lightbird. Again, we paid $25 each for these tins, ladies and gentlemen. So I don't think that Duskull alone made up for it. I'm really hoping for at least one or two more, more pulls because we got, I think, a, a good amount of pulls on our um, ETB. So let's hope we get something good. All right, Fire Energy. Ooh, there we go. The Fire Energy has been giving us luck. Laron, Trekking Shoes, Dusclops. Chatop, Galarian Mr. Mime, Sunkern, Bidoof, and oh, Coffin going into a oh, Reverse Laron, Enamorous. Okay, one pack left, man. So the Zapdos tin is not looking good for us. We are not getting anything. We just got that Duskull Galarian Gallery card, which is, it's okay. It's okay, to be honest. Nothing crazy. Two, three, four to the front. All right, here we go. Uh, Dark Energy. Crocorock, Energy Switch, Dusclops, Wilmer, Shinx, Corfish, Ponyard, Seal, Reverse Corfish, and a Snorlax. Wow, that honestly was a pretty bad thing, guys. All we got was that Duskull, Galarian Gallery, and then obviously the Zapdos. Let's go ahead and clean this up a little bit, and we'll get into the Moltres next. All right, up next, we have the Galarian Moltres. Once again, guys, we paid $25 each, I think, plus tax on each one of these. So, um, uh, much cheaper than what you're getting at Target and some of the big box stores. Honestly, this card shop hooked it up. They did sell me, like, oh, no, the, the MSRP on these products is uh, 25 bucks, And I, I would have never known because I was seeing... Uh, Target sell these for 30 so it is cool that uh, we have our LGS's and card stores backing us up again, which is really nice. There's your Galarian Mot Motris. 
Honestly, this Glare Moltres is way better than the Zapdos. I absolutely love the artwork on it. I kind of love that symmetry that they added. Um, and honestly, even the uh, foil itself is much, much nicer. So really happy with that Glaring Bird right there. And yeah, let's go ahead and start opening up these Crown Zenith packs from this tin. So I would say for right now, just from looking at what we pulled, the Zapdos tin is going to be the worst one. I mean, just one Dust Skull Glaring Gallery is very, very poor. Nothing crazy. So we're going to probably go through these packs a little bit quicker than before. But yeah, let me know guys in the comments, what is your favorite uh, Pokemon from Crown Zenith? And if you've opened up any Scarlet Violet just yet. So, all right, Steel Energy, Carnivine, Friends in History, Shaman, Ryolu, Starly, Cypher, Pokeball, Young Goose. Oh, there we go. There we go. This one's pretty cool. It's a Radiant Eternatus. Okay, that's cool. And it's actually a double whammy, and it's a Glaceon. Honestly, one of the better Vs to pick up. So there we go. We finally got some, some heat. So already, I think it's a better start than, uh, a much better start than the Zapdos. So yeah, yeah, very, very nice to pick up two hits in one pack. I know the Radiant packs aren't, the Radiant hits aren't anything crazy, like as far as like value wise, but it's still very, very cool guys to get any type of hit at all. I mean, again, the Zapdos tin was very over underwhelming, but what do you guys think? Did you, did you guys pick a, did you guys pick a tin that was gonna be better than the others before? I honestly should have asked that, um, make it more interactive. Here we go, Water Energy. Pin Kirchen, Garafig, Digging Duo, Purloin, Grubbin, Scrulp, Helioptile, Wooloo, Reverse Tangrove, and going into a Zamazenta. Hey, here we go Dark Energy, Friends of Sinnoh, Laron, Lost Vacuum, Corefish, Ponyard, Seal, Rockruff, Aeron, Whelmer, and going to a Light Bird. Oh man. All right, there we go. This is the fourth pack of the 10. Come on, come on, Crown Zenith. One, two, three, four. Come on, give us a nice hit. Give us a gold card right now. Grass Energy, Graveler, Bisharp, Great Ball, Glare Mr. Mime, Sunkern, Bidoof, Coughing, Salanda. Ooh, I see color, I see color. Oh, there we go. Oh my God. Yes, yes, there we go. Oh, a double whammy. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, that, that tin right there wins it. Dude, a Suicune V alt art and a Charizard V star. Dude, you can't get better than that. That right there wins it. Um, I mean, I actually really, really wanted that Suicune for my personal collection. So very happy to have that beautiful uh, alt art card right there. And then the Charizard V stars, I mean, it's just a hit. Like any V star card is a hit. And then the fact that it's a Charizard having um actually unpacked the Charizard in a while so that's pretty cool so already I think this one was worth it for sure I mean uh this this tin alone was definitely worth it because that's what you couldn't be is definitely a high ticket item so all right we have one more pack hopefully we can get some more value out of it out of this tin already but I mean I'd be happy with this tin like just with what we got right now so there we go crown zenith code card and let's just make this one quick because we still have the Articuno tin to open up electric energy Crushing Hammer, Ultra Ball, Gloom, Tangela, Baltoy, Glaring Meowth, Wilmer, Shinx. Ooh, there we go. Another Glaring Gallery. This time is the Ditto, and there's Ditto. Oh, that was a good, good uh, box, guys. We have some Glaring Gallery cards, and we have a Sweet Coon of uh, the uh, Alt Art hit, and we got the Charizard V Star. So, I mean, so far. So, we still have one more tin to open up, and let's see if somehow the Articuno could be better the articuno tin and by the way i'm probably not going to be opening up any more uh crown zenith uh for a very very long time just because i'm i'm going to be focusing a lot on the new scarlet and violet products i just want to kind of go ahead and start easing into the new generation so in my opinion this articuno honestly it's, it's just so majestic it's beautiful i always liked the galarian articuno i feel like it was a little bit slept on um i think the moltres like was the most hyped one when it first came out but i just think the articuno had something special about it but yeah here we go our last five packs of crown zenith that honestly we're probably gonna be opening up for a while unless i find those mini tins i really want to open up the mini tins but yeah let's go ahead and get some cr more crown zenith guys five more packs let's see what we can get god i am struggling with these packs for some reason 
All right, here we go. There's your code card. And let's get it. One, two, three, four to the front. All righty. Grass energy. Great ball. Oh, I just skipped. Trekking shoes. Luxio. Execute. Rock rough. Purloin. Love disc. Chetot. Um, a reverse Pangoro and a Mew V. And this Mew V is very, very cute. Absolutely love that. Honestly, much better than the old Mew V. I actually enjoy the, what is that, a city skyline. And it kind of has like a more hollow pattern. This is a really nice Mew V. So we already do have a hit off the first pack again. But we all know how it goes. You know, you can get one good hit right away. And then it just goes downhill. But we'll see how it goes. God, I cannot, again, cannot open up packs. All right, here we go. Crown Zenith, boom, code card for y'all. One, two, three, four to the front, and let's get it. Electric Energy, Dusclops, Matang, Energy Switch, Young Goose, Cherubi, Starly, Switch, Execute. Guys, I am seeing some color. I am seeing some really good color, and we're going into a <gasps> Deoxys VSR Alt Art. Oh my God. Oh my God, guys, these tins, these tins have been insane. Oh, dude, I understand. Oh, dude, these tins are, except for that Zapdos. If I just had the Zapdos, I'd be so pissed. But wow, look at that beauty right there. I think it's been worth it, guys. It's definitely been worth the opening. So again, paid $75 for the tin. I mean, just the enjoyment that you get from opening up these packs, like, nothing can beat that guys like nothing's ever gonna beat you opening up pokemon packs and like from a set like this that has so many good hits wow like you can't beat the enjoyment uh factor from these so all right there you go your code card we have two more packs after this left so let's see let's see can we get lucky again can we get another galarian gallery back to back all right here we go electric energy carnivine rare candy layer on snow run Pawnyard, tangela Bow toy, Galarian Meowth. Oh my god! No way, dude! No way! This was. This is insane! Cynthia's Ambition Galarian Gallery? There is no way. This can't be real, guys. This cannot be real. Two back to back banger hits. Oh my god! Oh my god, the Deoxys V-Star, the Cynthia's Ambition. We have two more packs left. Honestly, I might have to eat my words. I might have to go buy more Crown Zenith. This is amazing. I mean, I gotta I gotta tell myself like this is not the norm, but wow, this is insane. Two, three, four. Alright, here we go, here we go, guys. Dark Energy, Lost Vacuum, Electric, Ultra Bowl, Yanma, Pawnyard, Bidoof, Potion, Glary Mr. Mime. Oh my god! There's no way. There's no. This can't. No. Did I get the god hit? Did I get the god tin? Dude, that's three massive hits. That's three. Look, Sharon's Care, Cynthia's Ambition, and a Deoxys V Star. And we got a, a Mew V. Every single pack has been a hit. Every single one. This, that means this one's not a hit. There's. Guys, this can't... I think we just... Man, there, there may be what's called a God Tin in Crown Zenith. And I think we may have just hit it. If we get one more hit, I, I I can't. I can't believe it. There you go, guys. Last code card. Thank you all so much for watching. Friends in Sinnoh. Gloom. Ultra Ball. Young Goose. Cherubi. Starly. Switch. Execute. Oh, there we go. Reverse. Lunatone. And a Helio. Okay, there we go. All right, I mean, I was expecting that completely. So let's go ahead and give you guys a full summary of the cards that we got. And yeah, let's go ahead and see uh, if we made back our uh, worth uh, from the $75 we spent on the tins. So these are all like the hits or main cards that we got. There's the Glary Moltres, the Articuno, the Zapdos, the Glaceon V, Mew V, the Skull, the Radiant Eternatus, Ditto, Charizard V Star, Cynthia's Ambition, Charon's Care, this beautiful Deoxys V Star. Can't believe I got that. And then finally the Sweet Coon V, ladies and gentlemen. So the grand total, not counting any bulk, hollow rares, reverse hollows, none of it. The total value of just the hits alone, ladies and gentlemen, and the promos was 
$78.07. So ladies and gentlemen, we did technically make our values worth back which is very, very rare when it comes to opening up any Pokemon sealed product. So we are very, definitely very happy. We're going to be keeping most of these cards in our collection. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for watching our Pokemon card opening. If you guys would like to see more videos like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Comment down below what were your opinions on it and leave a like on this video. Thank you all so much and we'll see you guys on the next one.